You know what I'm saying? It's over six to the boys. Chat. You forgot to tell everyone what tonight's episode is about. tuned in to Virtuous Optimist Podcast with your soul sister Chaz and I have a very, very, very special guest here Ooh. on the show uh-huh. with me. This is a this is a major exclusive. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like this this has been in the works for a long time. I wanna say like two years now. Yeah. This has been in the works. But this is one of my favorite producers, rapper, creator, freaker. Of Diggable Planet, <laughs> Cherry Wine, yeah. Shabazz Palaces, yeah. uh, Knife Night. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's probably other stuff out there too, but <laughs> Ishmael Butler. What's up? <laughs> Hey. I got Ishmael Butler on, on Virtuous Optimist Podcast, y'all. So this is very exciting for me. But what I want to do is I want to do a What Her Hair Do icebreaker with Ishmael Butler. So okay. when I think about what her hair do, it brings me back to um, swoon units. Mm-hmm. And I think about swoon units. So if you could like just, let's go back. Okay. Let's take it back to like Diggable Plants Prime, like you in New York, but y'all traveling. You know, you seeing all the all the hoochies yeah. in the cruisers. Right. <laughs> And you seeing all these hairstyles, right? So when you seeing these hairstyles, I want to see the. I want you to tell me the first thing that's coming to mind. So it don't have to necessarily be like someone that you're interested in, or if this is something somebody that you like, but whatever comes to mind when you hear these hairstyles. All right. All right. So the first mm-hmm. one, the first hairstyle is the is a curly fro. What come to mind when you when you see that curly fro? Hmm. Like just. Yeah. The curly fro. Yeah. The colors come on. The nineties. Yeah. Yeah, like sisters in the nineties, college campus style. Okay. You know? Okay. I can dig that. I can um, dig that. Like going down to uh Howard Homecoming or something. You okay. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's that's a look that I always like that look. Yeah, you like yeah. that look. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So tell me what about the uh just the fro, like well, for me, because I'm old, you yeah. feel me? <laughs> like all my my mom and my aunties, yeah. and like yeah. that was that was what it was. You know what I mean? So Indeed. for me, it, it represents some, um, you know, confidence and beauty. There you go. I like that. Naturalness, like that. strength. Yeah. You know, when uh, they was about partying and doing, they having fun, but they also was determined. You yes. know what I'm saying? They had a mindset yeah. that had to do with, you know. The struggle, really. Yeah. And that represented that as well as styling it too, yeah. you know. So mm-hmm. I loved mm-hmm. it. I could do that. Yeah. I could do. See, that's why I wanted you on with a hairdo because okay. I knew you was coming with it. All right, all right. So the next one is lock. What you think about when you see a sister with the lock? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I like the locks too. It's like um a commitment. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. And um, it's like a it's like a it's like a uniform. So you you curl everything into the uniform, but then how you do it after that, how you style it, how you put it up, you know what I'm saying? Put it over to the side, boom, boom, yeah. raise. Like it's like um I like it. It, it. It's it's naturalness, but you can uh, get get unique styles out of it as well. Yeah. 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 So the sisters express themselves. Yeah. Nice with that colors. Yeah. Do the tips. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shit yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a commitment though, for real. It for really sure. is, for man. Sure. All right. So, uh, what about when you see the sisters with the pixie cut, like that Halle Berry, that Nia Long? I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. It's um, it's courageous. It's daring. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's confident, and yeah. uh, it's like um. You see the face, you feel me? And, and, uh, yeah, it's a radiant look. I I like that. Yeah. 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 I dig that pixie cut too. All right. All right. So when you see that, that long, wet and wavy style on the sister, Uh what's your thoughts? Like, 
like what real real or not real or just the style in general it don't matter let's just do the style in general we're gonna do the style in general for this one yeah, it depends. I mean, you know, like with any style, it mm -hmm. could be for you or it could not. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, exactly. And, but um, for me, I like when people um seem like they're comfortable. Yeah. yeah. With the choice they made, exactly. you know, and even yeah. a little flamboyant with it, you know, yeah. confidence. <laughs> and something I might not necessarily think was would be cool. Yeah. If if she doing it right, mm -hmm. I could be swayed. Yeah. To her side yeah. of seeing things for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I can dig that. You got to be confident in what you're rocking because, mm -hmm. I mean, when it looks like it's you whole. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, I can dig that. All right. So, let's take it back to uh -huh. the up dudes with the swoop. Oh. Oh. They got wall over here. <laughs> yeah, that. Let's go there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You talking about like. The asymmetrics and yeah. Oh yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> this one I ain't doing on the show ever before. So yeah, I had to drop this one yeah, on that's you. that's near and dear. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> when I was a little right. boy, and then uh, you know, it's like um, you understand that you're growing up by the things that you starting to become aware of. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When I was starting to become aware of things. That was a that was a that style was, that was, <laughs> that was like maturity. That was impressive. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cause ain't no young sisters were doing the updo nah. with the swoop. So nah. yeah. So yeah. yeah. You got some numbers on you if yeah. you're doing updo. Yeah. All right. What about the box braid? Oh. Yeah. That remind me of like '90s California. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I agree. And um. The sisters out there, you know, the their personality, their attitude, that all came from, you know, their environment that they, they grew up in and how they express themselves is something when I cause like I said, when I was growing up, it like the neighborhoods and the and the regions was very separate and had very yeah. distinct um characteristics and stuff. So mm -hmm. but uh, I like the box sprays. It reminded me of like LA. Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. You ever live in LA? No. No, you never wanted to live there. I do. I have and do. Yeah. 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 I dig it. I yeah, love it. Yeah. All right. Um, is that a, is that a, a possibility? Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. What about the cornrows? The cornrows with the baby hair, though. Oh. <laughs> you could reach out and touch my heart with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And that's um. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah, I agree with that style. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. The finger ways. Yeah, Midwest. Yeah. Yeah, like you know, like I said, it's people that embody their whole look. Right. And when it when it's right, it's impressive. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. But I like that style because it's like probably one of the older styles too that sister's been wearing. Yeah. For. A long time, like that know. Josephine Baker. Exactly, yeah. like that's that style and lasted a lot of eras. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I just realized I had finger waves. Right, <laughs> just realized it yeah. just now. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh like shit! Somebody told me it's like, it's like you got finger waves. I was like, I got finger I really waves. Do. Like, you right? I, you I, know, I, I just I just kind of slick it down in the shower and go. Right. <laughs> but all right, all right. What? So you mentioned color, like the colored locks earlier. But when you see a sister with the colored hair, like any style, but the colored hair, like the greens and the blues and all that, like, what are your thoughts with that? That's like a newer, um, a newer style. Okay. Um, I don't necessarily um, gravitate towards it, mm -hmm. but I like the. Um, the show, the showmanship of it, yeah. you know, and like yeah. the the audacity. You feel me? I like I that. I agree. I agree. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. All right. So, so this is the last one. So okay. this is. Oh wait, you know what I miss? I miss like the uh, the straight, the weaves, like the bundles. Like, what are your thoughts on bundles? <laughs> wait, what's a bundle? Like the straight weaves, like you know, they get it laid. You yeah. Know, like they yeah, have their hair yeah. laid. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's not my like go to. Yeah. 
But again, I done seen it work out just fine for people yeah. too. Yeah. 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 It seemed like that's the thing these days. <laughs> like everybody do it these days. Yeah. I mean, yeah, everybody is doing it. Yeah. All right. So this is the last one. The okay. silky fine hair, like just real good grain of hair, long, fine hair. Uh. Yeah, I don't see a problem with it. <laughs> Can you do <think> that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I could accept, you know what I mean, yeah. if that's what somebody <laughs> want to do. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Well, that is the first What Her Hair Do icebreaker show for season six. This is going to be season six. Damn, Dude. like that? Season six, yeah. So you're going to jump off season six for me. Okay. You know, so last last season, season five, I had Sun Little. I don't know if you're familiar with who Sun Little is. For sure. You do? Okay. Yeah. So Sun Little was on season five, and then I had Doc Holiday. Yep. Doc Holiday was on season five, too. So when it came to season six, I was like, I mean, the bar is, is up there, yeah, you know? Yeah, that's heavy. You already had heavy on You know? There. So I got I to gotta jump off season six with Ishmael Butler. I so, appreciate that. Right. So before we turn this off, though. Okay. So I got this book. Yeah. And you know this book. I do. Yes, you've read this book. Okay. And I've actually I got onto this book from you posting it and mm. Erica Badu posting this book. Oh. So I was like, man, like I gotta get this book. Like, what is this book? You like, got it. I got it. Wow, that's rare. So. That's rare, right there. That's that's a that's a rare um, find, actually. So this is the book. Ooh. Let me hold it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the book. <laughs> How far you get? So I'm a slow reader. Okay. I've been having this book since since you've been posting it. Since I like had it, I had it for a long time too. So I had it since like 2018. Mm-hmm. So three T's. Thomas the twin mm-hmm. wrote this book. Yeah, he did. So can you tell us what this book is about? No. No. No, I mean it's 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 so it's about it sounds cl- cliché to say that it's about life but it, it, it I mean on the surface it's a sort of biographical account of portions of um Scatman Carruthers life, Bruce Lee's life, Scatman Carruthers' wife's life, his daughter's life, uh Richard Pryor's life, you feel me? But it's both a novel and nonfiction. It's it's like it's a new take on on literature, as far as I'm concerned. All very beautifully written and and um, magical. Yeah. 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 So the only thing I would really tell a motherfucker is that if you do read it, get a chance to read it, that you would be you would have a good time. You know what I'm saying? It'd be yeah. worth your while. Yeah. Yeah. So as I've been reading this book, mm-hmm. I've had to have Google. Mm-hmm. nearby because mm-hmm. it's a lot that I don't know about I think I know because you're speaking in terms of the people the people and the all parts of it uh-huh. all parts of it because it's historical and you're talking yeah. about different events and exactly yeah I mean I think that's one way to do it but I think you could also pour through it and just read it and then maybe go back, but but I that's a good way to do it too. I I felt the same way. You did. Yeah, okay, I didn't know well, everything that was better. going down, but I just read it like almost like a fictional story where you you put the images in your mind of what okay. the things are supposed to be. Okay. But later on, I did go back and things I didn't know I checked out because it's actually su- stupid well researched. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is, and it's like how could I mean I mean. Thomas the Twin is very talented, yeah. obviously, yeah. you know. And blessings to him for even sending me this yeah. book. Because know? it's a rare book to get. They only made a thousand of them. Exactly, so, yeah. 999. That's right, 999. So, yeah. Because nine is his, is his number, you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So, wait, so tell me how you guys are, are, are kind of related. So, man, as well, the book. The book found me. Okay. I saw it at a friend of mine's desk at his job. He let me take the book. I had the book for like a year before I cracked it. I re- okay. started reading the book. It was the best book I had ever read. 
about three quarters of the way through the book, I'm reading it, and there's a line from one of the Shabazz Palace's songs written into the dialogue of the book. Okay. It blew my mind. Yeah. And then um, I was talking to Badu about it, and, and Badu actually found the cat that wrote it, because if you look online, you won't see nothing. Exactly, and I searched and searched. Exactly. And searched. So, <laughs> so think about that, like in this day and age, you know what I'm saying? Like the type of cat that he is exactly. to write, have written such a tour de force, and it's not even online but he, he's, he's thinking about something else you know plant yeah. planting seeds um for things that'll sprout and grow many years from now yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's amazing and like i said blessings to three t's tom is a twin because he, he sent me this book without question you know wow. like why do you want it <laughs> you know, right none of right that. nah he ain't he's he's Nah. Yeah. So he and so I so I'm still reading it though. I'm not gonna tell you how far into it I got. Well, it's like it's it's dense, like like a red velvet cake. Yeah. You can just eat a little bit and yeah. and, and, and get full. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. It took me maybe a year. Really? To read okay. The whole and like thing. I said, it makes me feel, it makes me feel better because, like I said, I feel like I'm a slow reader and in between and while I'm doing this, like I have to have the phone near to. Because I'm one of the people that's like, I need to understand before I For move sure. forward. For sure. And so, uh, so I definitely kind of been Googling and like making notes and, you know. Mm -hmm. And if you do it like that, you'll learn hella. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because I feel like that's what it is too. You know, it's like you're learning. I mean, it's really like a, it's like a tome or something. Yeah. You could, you could open it up to any page and mm -hmm. read it and mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's almost like not to be. The Bible. Yeah. It really is. Honestly. Like, bullshit, <laughs> you know? You say that niggas get, you know, they get funny, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it is. Damn. I mean, it's called, you know, a secret, though. Yeah. Like, come yeah. On. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really interested in finishing. Um, so, because I actually want to get back to 3Ts and let them know, like, you know, what, what how, how it impacted me, you know, what. What I, excuse me, what I learned from it and all that. Because, like I said, I feel like I've learned. Like, I didn't even know who Scatman was. Right. You know, so to start reading that and then their relationship with Red, Red Fox. And, right. You know, and it's like, it's like, how do you know these conversations right. with these people? You know, right. like, <laughs> like, right. shit I haven't the shit. Key. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> and the crazy thing is, you know, the dialogue, it seems like a documentary almost. Exactly. Exactly. No, so you like, how did he get? You know what I'm saying? How? Where was you at? Was you there? Yes. You know? Right. Yeah, and he a right. young boy too. He yes. ain't even. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Yeah. So you didn't know him before this. Nah, book. nah. Okay. Nah. Okay. Not, not, not like, like I know him now. Like we okay. aware of each other, but we was obviously, um, we knew each other in in in, a, in other realms. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yep. Yep. I totally understand that. But I met him since then. You yeah. have? Yeah. Okay. Met him and his lady in, in, in Chicago and shit. Big. I was I was excited. But it was good too. You yeah. Know? Yeah. He yeah. was a smooth cat. Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you super easy going. You know, you've always welcomed me with open arms. Yeah. So I could only imagine that that's what that was when you when you met him too. Yeah. I mean, um, you could feel really how people are, and even if. People is fucked up. That don't mean that you gotta be. You know what I'm exactly. saying? You, you let You're it. Right. You let it go right. after after it's over. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, cause you ain't gotta be around that, that if you don't want to. Yeah, nah, I definitely yeah. don't. Yeah, cool, cool. All right, well we are gonna wrap it up. We are gonna wrap this video up, but yeah. we are gonna get into the podcast. So I guess. All right. All right. Peace. Peace. Catch Ish and me on Sunday evening, June 27. Peace to DJ Screw. Catch us that evening. It's the first episode of season six of Virtuous Optimus Podcast. Tune in with your soul sister and Ishmael Butler.